Okay, so if Prince declares it dead, does that mean that it really is dead? Or is, I, mean, is he, I don't know. I, I, look, it's not dead. The internet is not dead at all. The, it's, it's, it's a way to reach people. It's, it's actually a new avenue for, for people to get access to things. I mean, if the internet is dead, then I'm, I must be dead too because I use it all the time. So maybe I've got a sixth sense and I only see dead people. I don't know. <laughs> You know, that's the goal, is to try to get people to respond to you. It's to try to reach them. You know, my audience is probably not as internet and download savvy as maybe uh, the Brianna audience, you know. But still, that's a way to reach people, and, and it, is, it, it is a way of communicating. So, you know, at this point, uh, artists should do whatever they can to expose their music to their uh, to people their audience I know I've got a big audience out there I know they they seem to like what I do so my goal is to reach them let them know I've got new material out there he was in uh, the studio with my friend Walter and I when he was a teenager just kind of you know hanging out and doing his thing and uh, so, but he was always really talented, and I'm, I mean, it's not surprising that he has this great success because he's got a unique voice and, and a unique writing style. So, very proud uh, to have said that I saw him beforehand, and I'm also proud to have him on my CD. I grew up in, uh, in Seattle, and I'm in the inner city of Seattle, it's very interracial. So, my high school was about a third Asian, about a third black, and about a third white. So, in our high school, we listened to R&B music. Ex exclusively so when I say I'm going back to my R&B roots it sounds funny for a white guy to say that but it's really true about me <laughs>